Hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Revelations. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, the executive producer and your show host. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship. We're highlighting ministries all around the country that are serious about doing just that, hoping that you, our viewers, would get a couple revelations. God is still working today, and there's a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. Today, we're in Nashville, Tennessee at the NRB convention, and with me is Troy, the president of the NRB Network. Troy, thanks so much, sir, for uh, letting us spend some time with you guys here at the convention. Well, Chuck, thanks for being at the convention, and thanks for being a part of the NRB Network and being a part of the uh, conference here. It's been a great conference so far. Absolutely. We're getting fired up, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of issues, especially religious freedoms and all that, but why don't you tell us a little bit about the heart, uh, the vision, the mission of the NRB Network as a network itself. Sure. The heart of the NRB Network was to get launched to provide a uh, platform for independent Christian producers. Uh, people who didn't produce for uh, a national ministry program, but maybe they produce a, a biography or a documentary or a music show, and just a wide variety of independent producers. So our heart is kind of the best way to explain it is to be a Christian worldview PBS a place where independent producers, where where the little guys can come and get their programs and help get the gospel out mm -hmm. and help evangelize and help disciple people across the country. Yeah, I remember when we first launched the show a few years ago, we came up to Asheville, we met with you, you encouraged us and our team, and, and uh, I always tell everybody, you tell me, hey, Oprah's first season right. didn't look like it does now, uh, and shows evolve, and right. you really encouraged us and, and you really helped us get some wind under our wings. I appreciate that. So that's right. really your heart. You're trying to help producers uh, get out there and, and tell the story. It, it is our heart because there's a lot of different ways to tell the gospel story and a lot of different ways to disciple people. And there's a and you know our culture in America is very diverse. We have a young teen culture, we have many ethnic cultures, we have urban cultures, and we have rural Rural cultures. So people who are best to do that are the independent producers who are in those cultures from small towns to large towns. And, and this is a media savvy country today. Yeah. You know, uh, 20 years ago it cost you $100,000 to produce a program. Right. Today, uh, kids can go out for less than $500, get an HD camera, and they can be producing <laughs> yeah. and on the internet. So Yeah, I know what motivated us is uh, there was a lot of preaching, a lot of teaching from the pulpit. I mean, the pastors were the producers right. for Christian television for a long time, but now, you know, we need to bring our excellent gifts and talents to the Christian media market, right, right? and uh, and compete with the world with, with the excellence of Christ. Right, exactly, with the excellence of Christ and bringing that to the market and bringing it to a, to a, a, a traditional audience that wants to turn on a cable channel and see something, not just the YouTube market, but to bring it to the traditional market as well. Yeah. Well, our show is about evangelism, and obviously people who aren't going to church are usually the ones that need to hear the gospel. So how do you think that God is using the NRB network to share the gospel and to evangelize? Well, I think God uses us in a, in a couple of different ways. As you said, there's a lot of people that won't go to church, but they may start channel surfing in the morning, and especially if they're on DirecTV or if they're on the Internet, if they're on Sky Angel, these different platforms are on, they start channel surfing. You know, and people are hurting. And they start to hear a message or they start to see a documentary or they start to see a drama about something that's going on in their life. And they connect with that because media connects people. Most of the people are visual learners. Right. So that connects and they, and they stop, they pause on a channel and they hear about Jesus Christ for the first time. You know, I worked yeah. for D. James Kennedy and we did media and he, he would get constant letters. And, and the best letter I can remember was a young lady who was sitting in a hotel room about ready to go in and have an abortion. She turned TV on. She was flipping flipping channel, she catches the program, and what does she do? She gets a message of Jesus Christ, she doesn't have the abortion, she goes home and sends us a picture of her beautiful new daughter. That's amazing. I know our youth pastor back at our church at five years old caught something on TV in the living room, bent the knee, asked Jesus into his heart, and avoided a whole life, exactly. lifetime of destruction and having to repent from some crazy sin. Exactly. I mean, being saved at such a young age. Exactly. And, that, and that's the kind of things that we can bring. And again, doing it in a variety, as you said, you know, a decade or so ago, it was the pulpit pastor. That was the primary method. Method that, that you turn the TV on, you saw the pulpit pastor. Now today you can turn the TV on, you see street preachers, you see people having uh, uh, dialogues, you see shows like this, we're in a hotel yeah. lobby, you see all kinds fitness of different shows, ways. Doing fitness for Jesus. That's right, fitness shows, <laughs> cooking shows, you know, and, and even talk shows where you can sit down and talk about what's going on in the culture hey, today. Hey, Taste and See, the Lord is good. Taste and Taste See would be a great see. cooking show, right? That would be a great cooking show. I love the title. <laughs> Very good. We'll start production on that next month. But uh, discipleship, another big word, you know, learning how to follow Jesus. And again, Sunday, you know, during the week, you get some good Bible teaching. 
Talk about some of the programs on the NRB network that lend itself towards discipleship. You, you do get some good Sunday teaching. We have some outstanding Sunday pastors. You know, we, we believe that we have the best Sunday pastors and the most orthodox message that you can get out there. But discipleship is huge. Once you've given your heart to Christ, now you want to grow and, and walk in Christ and you want to follow Christ. And how do you do that today? Well, you turn the NRB network on to Monday nights and you watch our apologetic series. You get some great guys like Frank Turk and Alex McFarlane and Ravi Zacharias and, and Alistair McGrath and all these guys that teach you how to defend the gospel. And mm -hmm. I always tell people, you know where the defense of the gospel starts? It starts right here with us. Yeah. We have to defend it for us first. We have to understand in our heart why we yeah. believe. And then yeah. we can start to share that. And that's what discipleship's all about. We have a whole, our, our whole morning block is called our morning devotion block. And it's full of people who are waking up and giving you that Bible study, giving you that, that boost in the morning to go throughout your day and building that foundation of scripture and the foundation of Jesus Christ in your life. You know, one of the programs I like are the ones that revolve around creation, you mm -hmm. know, and especially the world and the evolution. It's like, but it really, it's a place to get equipped to give those answers for a creation worldview versus that evolution, non-existent God thing, you know? Right. Turn in Tuesday nights and you're going to see people from Answers in Genesis and the creation series and a whole different guys. We know today the world likes to tell us that science has solved everything and science has all the answers. Really? Where do you get the meaning of life from in science? Yeah. And so these guys are defending uh, creationism and they're defending the foundations of scripture. So it's not just about attacking did God or didn't God create the world, but it's really attacking the, uh, about the foundations of scripture. And you're right, mm -hmm. that's a great area for us. And then Thursday nights, you can get documentaries that talk about some great fathers in the faith, some great people who forged the foundations and the platforms we're building on here. Right. Well, Direct TV channel 378, uh, millions of viewers. I, I, I know it's about the 30 million households, I guess. We're or? available to around 30 million households now. DirecTV is our largest outlet. Uh, the folks at DirecTV have been great to us and, and we love them for the partnership. So you can get that or go to www.nrbnetwork.tv and you can stream it live. That's cool. So here's another thought. Um, we do the show hoping that viewers get a couple of revelations, that they have a part in the body of Christ to support ministries. Like any other ministry out there, and a, a lot of people are guilty of asking for money too much, but it takes some money. You're the president of the network. It takes money to do broadcasting. So how can our viewers you know, partner with a ministry like NRB Network to help broadcast the gospel to 30 million plus people? Well, unfortunately, as you said, it takes money. Now, we don't live in a charitable society. Uh, the platforms that we're on are commercial platforms. They're for-profit companies, and that's what they're in it for. Now, we've had some blessings by God to, to give us favor in certain areas. So a few things you can do. Always pray, pray, pray for us. Absolutely. We want to expand our distribution across. So if you don't get the NRB network, um, call your local cable system and ask them, hey, we want the NRB network on there. We need that kind of uh, support and pressure. If you go to our website, you'll see some of the projects and some of the different things we're doing and you can help support the NRB network just like public broadcasting gets viewer support. Mm -hmm. We don't have a flagship sort of ministry program. We're a Christian worldview public broadcaster. So your support helps us bring new programs to the forefront. It helps mm -hmm. us to underwrite the cost of producing programs that many of the independents are out there. And that's really our goal. So go to our website, you can donate there. You can call your local cable system if you don't have yeah. us. and. Um, and again, just keep us in prayer. We, we live in a world that is hostile to the gospel message. Yeah. In today's culture, it's getting even more hostile to anything we talk about. Yeah, well, you know, it starts with prayer, but I always say time, your treasures, your talents, and, and as, a, as a network, you're growing. You're probably looking for some superstars to join the team. That's what I was going to say. If you're an independent producer out there, you're a wannabe film guy, and you're coming up and you're saying, wow, how am I going to get this project out there? Well, get on our website, go to our nrbinfo.com. Uh, site and, uh, and it'll tell you how to do that and you can contact us and send us in. Send us your ideas. We'll see what we can do to help you. That's awesome. Well, listen, I want to take an opportunity to pray with you we with our viewers that. watching and ask God to uh, take the NRB network to the next level. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we just thank you so much for the NRB network. We thank you for the NRB and the convention. We thank you that we can touch and agree that you alone are God and you mm. own the airwaves. Mm. You own every channel space. You own our lives. We are no longer our own, but been bought with the, the precious blood of Jesus. 
And uh, we just pray right now with our viewers watching that you would move in our hearts. How can we co-labor to advance the gospel, especially using media and the channel spaces available? Lord, I pray we could just uh, support one another, encourage one another, and lift one another up until you come, come back or take us home. May we be found faithful and uh, using the gifts and talents and the resources that you've given us for your glory. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Christ, amen. 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 God bless you. Thanks, Troy. Bless you too. All right. Woo! Keep watching.